This is another Professor Pinball creation. This time we've got uh, version two of a Pinduino hooked up to Baywatch. This one's got a set of addressable LEDs uh, underneath the back box, down here in the ball trough, and we've got a nice set over on the main ramp. These LEDs are um, controlled by a Pinduino, which is monitoring flashers. That red cord running on the side there, that's just a USB cable to my laptop that I'm using to program it. And so uh, what this will do, of course, is uh, give us some ability to do some really cool lighting effects. So this is a nice Baywatch. This was lent to me by uh, a guy down here in Tucson named Brendan. Thank you for letting me play with your Baywatch. It is in just phenomenal shape. Um, I did a couple of things on it in terms of cleaning it up. Added in some additional spotlights down here in the middle. Really helps brighten up the center of the play field. And with this Pinduino in place, let's have some fun. So the fun with Pinduinos is uh, it's fully customizable. So you can change up with a bunch of different lighting effects, uh, program your own. All the code is open source. Um, pretty extensive library that we have there. And if you can do a little basic programming or want to learn how to do it, you can set these up on your own pretty easily. The Pinduino itself just plugs into the uh, power driver board. This one is monitoring, uh, I forget the exact plug number for it, um, powered off of uh, some 12 volts and 5 volts. And you can see that uh, one of the things it does is gives us some additional brightness on the back of the play field, which is really good. Um, especially when these games can be a little bit dim. See if I can collect that last target, which I got. Um, see if I can get some multi ball. Do like Baywatch. Deeply underappreciated game. Um, outstanding rules. Four flippers. I don't know. So many ramps. Very, very nice toys on the play field. Uh, that light, the uh, guard tower for the locks is pretty cool. A couple of mini wizard modes. Of course, the shark, which is a pretty dangerous shot. Big points, of course, are at multi ball, which I'm not having luck getting to that uh, guard tower. Yeah. Oh, I missed it again. There we go. So the fun things about Baywatch is uh, the five ball multi ball, where it just dumps everything onto the play field. I'm working on collecting that last drop so I can get my final lock, which I'm not having luck hitting. Oh, so close. There we go. Be careful, dangerous out there. I deserve that drain. Misclicking the skill shot on the first one, so I probably won't get my three in a row. But now that multi ball is primed, you get that annoying relay that turns on and off the GI. So I like this, you can really see all the flashers going, the Pinduino adding in some nice lighting effects. The main ramp is pretty cool. And now I've got five balls getting dumped on the play field. So for those who don't know Baywatch, to get to the super jackpot, you gotta collect each of the surfboard shots. Those are regular jackpots. I've got three of them. I've got two I need to get. I am not gonna do. 
Baywatch is great programming. Absolutely no grace period. Um, working into a mode, there's no stacking. So this one is uh, saving swimmers by hitting the yellow stand-ups. Those are generally pretty dangerous targets to be going after. Um, but while you're in the mode, you just can't collect anything else. So most people time them out. Um, if you're playing in competition, going for points. Just for regular play, they're fun to go after. Great animations on the big DMD. Um, and let's see. Might be able to get into one of the mini modes. If I can get that last letter for guard. This is a fun mini wizard mode. Each of the main shots with the red surfboard is a jackpot that are rapidly counting down. Or, you just go for a quick drain. So I think that's all three balls. Just want to, uh, once again, say thanks to Brendan. Um, I think this is another really sweet setup. I'm happy to have a Pinduino now, now that plugs into uh, Sega, Data East, um, what is it, System Version 3s. Plug straight to the power driver board. Super easy to get set up. And if you like programming, you can go completely nuts in terms of the kind of effects you can do. So thanks for watching.